everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Joni and this is where I'm always trying to inspire and encourage you to create something beautiful for your home. Even if you think you're not creative or you've never picked up a paintbrush, I promise you can do all the things, okay? It's good for your heart, it's good for your soul, and it's definitely good for your mind. So, just remember, it's just paint, okay? So let's have fun with it. Come on, let's see what we're gonna right. do today. First, I've got these little wooden uh, ornaments and I got these at Hobby Lobby. I'm just gonna snip these off because I wanna use um, just some prettier ribbons when it's all said and done. Let's just start with three. Let's see how we do. All right, so got a paintbrush here already. I'm gonna use DIY paint in White Swan. All right. So I think I'll try to do the sides as well. I'm just gonna go ahead and paint all three first. Got a piece of a thin mount right here, which is just a, um, a piece of plastic that has grid lines on it, and it's, they're great for putting stamps on so you have something to hold on to. So I'm gonna be using the Cozy Stamp. Uh, this is one of Iron Orchid Design's newest, uh, well, it's the Christmas release. Um, and I've not used it yet. So I thought I would use it for my ornaments. So when you first get uh, stamps like this, don't be afraid, um, you know, to uh, once you pull that off, they will be pretty um, snug on here, but don't worry, just pull them off. You're not gonna hurt anything. Just pull them off, they're really sturdy, okay? So, also the first thing you wanna do is sand it a little bit, okay? Give it some tooth to stamp with because it'll be kind of slippery if you don't. So I've got, this is a 180 uh, piece of sandpaper. You can use 220, you know, not really rough. Just all you're doing is just kind of knocking off that new shine. Giving it something to adhere to, all right? So, and I'm gonna stick it now. Let's see if it'll stick because a lot of times, um, if you, this is new, but if it's not new, this kind of will lose its um, sticky back there. You can just rub some alcohol on it and plus my thin mount's a little dirty. So let's just see how it goes. I think that'll work. Actually, I'm gonna cut this off a little bit. So I'll put something else on that. Okay, so now I have something to hold on to when I get ready to go stamp and I can lift it right back up. All right, so I'm gonna be using my Iron Orchid Designs uh, ink and this is called Oceans Deep. I thought I'd go with something a little different than red and green. So, let's just see how it goes, all right? And I really am just gonna do the center part. Oh, I love this color. It is the most gorgeous blue. So make sure I don't have, and I do have my, my pad pretty juicy. So, just turn it upside down and pat it down like that. And I'm just gonna take this, I'm gonna turn it over Right, come straight down, kind of hold it, and then tap like this. You don't want to try to shift it, so try to keep it as, as still as you can. Hold it with one hand at all times, and then press. Let's stand. Oh, look at that. I just love it. Love it. Okay. So see, we've got that. All right, so I'm just gonna put the heat on that a little bit. So 
So ink takes a little bit longer to dry than the paint, okay? So I'm just gonna set this off to the side, but I do love how that turned out. Now we're not done with it, but that's just our first little step, all right? There's some snowflakes on here too that I wanna do. So I've got this one. So I'm just gonna place them right now. I've got that one. I wanna see what I'm doing. This one. And this one. So there's three. I was gonna see if I could get all three on there. So I'll have to finagle it just a little bit. So something like that, all right? Now, if I could get that, all right, so look, this is an easy way to get it on your thin mount. I don't know if this thin mount's the right size, but it's okay. So I'm gonna turn it over, like the stamp side down, kind of get my design like I like it, and I'm leaving this flat side up. So the flat side up, Let's put that little one right there. I'm kind of wanting it like this. All right, and so then I'm gonna take my thin mount. Be nice to be a little bit bigger, but press it down, okay? And it should come up like that, okay, on your thin mount. So you can do one, one stamp rather than several, all right? I think this would be really pretty if you have a um, just white in this color on a tree. I think it's gorgeous. All right, let's see what we got. Is that, all right, be careful not to get ink everywhere else. All right. Down like that. Try to keep it still and press. Perfect. All right, so that's the little snowflakes. Again, I'm gonna just heat it up a little bit. All right, now for this one, I'm going to uh, use a little bit of decoupage paper. Okay, this beautiful paper, it's a um, Chow Bella paper, um, and I'll have a link for all this, but it is just really pretty. It's got lots of birds on here, and so. It actually has that little ribbon right there. Let me see. Let me see what the best one is. Ooh, that's pretty too. Let's see. Half this thing will be cut off. Let's pull them down. Just kind of have to play with them. Ooh, I like that. I like that like that. I like that a lot. Pull it over some. So let me cut that out. Just going to cut it around like this. All right. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna use DIY's uh, liquid patina. Now this paper is a, it's a pretty thick rice paper. So I'm gonna put some of this liquid patina on the back of the paper as well. I love this paper because it's it's um, it's fine enough, but it's not gonna rip on you like a napkin would. So it's very um. It's really nice. All right, so let's see. Ooh, I may have cut it just a little too short right over there. Right here, I shouldn't have cut it. So look, I'm just gonna. So I'm gonna find where I cut it. <laughs> Add that back, y'all. Add that right back in there. Got a little scissor happy there. You can 
always fix it. Here we go. All right. Now let's get to popping this back on. What a, so many pretty colors right here in this paper. I love it. But the best part, y'all, is yet to come. Okay, so hang, hang in there with me. All right, let me look at this paper one more time. I may want... Um, Kind of like just those bells right there. I think that's really pretty. Get some of our decoupage, our liquid patina on here. Paper is, ugh, works like a dream. Before I stop this, I'm gonna go ahead and paint, um, not paint, but I'm gonna go ahead and just wrap this paper around this. I think it might have a better finish, more finished look, I should say. So I'm just gonna paint this around the edges of the ornament and we'll kind of get a little bit of the um, liquid patina on the paper. Okay, and then kind of wrap it around it. Okay, so let's see, I'm gonna now, these are nice and dry. And um, I did, a, I actually did an extra one with the bird paper uh, that I had left. And then I also had this paper. Um, so I'm, I've got this little, this one's called Beauty is Everywhere. And it was, so this is more of a neutral um, paper. It has, you know, a lot of deer on here. All of them were deer actually. And then I had this one, uh, bird one as well. So all this was really pretty uh, and I just decided to use this one. I just wanted to use up the ornaments that I had. So, all right, so I have a sanding block here that I'm just going to sand off these edges from the back. I went ahead and just um, put them all the way around. I just thought that would be kind of a nicer look. Now, let's dress these up a little bit, okay? All right, so we've got our two stamped ones right here. I added, um, I ended up adding another little uh, snowflake right there. So I'm not even sure if it's quite dry, but I think it is. And then I've got these that are decoupaged with the beautiful paper. It's nice and dry and see how um, nice and smooth they are. Again, this is, um, Chow Bella papers. And okay, so the first thing I wanna do is get my French gold metallic paint. Okay, I'm gonna stir it up real well. Okay, I think I wanna add gold to all of them, but this one, I'm gonna leave this one pretty neutral because I just, I love these. I think this would be great um, for just an all neutral tree. Let's see, let's start with these. So I wanna just paint the top of it right here, the little top gold. These are a little plain, so we're gonna dress them up a little bit. Clean that paint out of there.
right? And then I'm going to take this little stick. You know, I might take, let's see, a lot of times I will use this little, um, I have this little bitty wooden wheel. It came from uh, the Dollar Tree. It was a pack of, uh, it was a toy car. So this was part of, part of that package, little bag. And so I'm actually going to put, let me just grab one of these, um, things right here. I'm going to put a little bit of gold on this and then I'm going to just put this little piece in the gold and then I blot it off just a little bit. I don't want it just dripping. And then um, take the one I just painted and I'm just going to use this around the edges like this. It's, it's better, easier to control it. But a lot of times I will just use that stick as well. But but anything flat would do. My fingers, I just feel like they kind of gets too much on there. So I'm just gonna paint all of them gold at the top except for the little neutral colored one, the deer. I just come around the sides like this. That'll be prettier. Let's just do this. Okay, get my little wooden piece. Actually, I'm going to use, that's kind of hard to hold when it's I'm going to try this. Now, I'm going to take another metallic, and it is called, it's a clear metallic, and it is called Sheer Bliss, okay? So, it's it's just a clear metallic paint. It also has the mica powders in it that have to be stirred up, um, but this makes any color look metallic or anything that you put it on, it just gives it a really pretty shimmer. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hopefully these are dry enough and I'm just going to brush it on. It's going to go on kind of um, like a milky white, but it dries crystal clear and then it'll be really sparkly. And I'm just going to go right across the paper here. So this can be a sealer, um, and so after this, we're done. Except for putting on a pretty ribbon. We're gonna put a pretty ribbon in there. Just keep going, and that when that dries, ah, it's gonna be so pretty, All right? Go 
once more over in one direction. It's going to be so pretty when it dries. All right, now for this one, I'm going to do something a little different. Let me get one thing. Let's do that. Let's add the glass glitter to these. These are a little plain. And again, make sure your ink is dry on here. All right. Take a paper towel. This is German glass glitter, so it's uh, just fine pieces of glass um, that has real uh, silver in it. So it comes in different colors. But this is my favorite, the sheer frost. Okay, so I, I put it on pretty liberally and then I shake off the excess. Let's go ahead and do this one real quick. Sparkly. Um, and so it just went from really plain to just really pretty. Okay, so let's dump this one off. Again, I'm going to paint the back of these gold. Once they're all dry and stuff. Okay, now that's gonna be so nice and sparkly. Love that, I love that little pattern. Again, that was the cozy stamp. All right, so we're gonna put these, I'm gonna just save the excess. May end up putting this on all of them. <laughs> so pretty. But the sheer bliss is too. It's just a. It's just more uh, subtle. Well, we have one that's got a bunch of glass on it, and this one's just um, very subtle, but, sh but you can see the, sh the shine, the shimmer. It shimmers more, and this sparkles more. See, there's a difference. Now, this is still a little bit, um, until it dries, it's not going to be as clear as it can be. Okay, so for this, um, this one has a little, real pretty bird burgundy uh, ribbon around that bell, so I thought this little ribbon might be good. That's really pretty with that, tied in a bow, tied in a knot. Now for this one that's just uh, natural, I thought just a little natural ribbon would be cute. Thanks so much, and be sure to check out all the other um, artists in the group. We're all collaborating together and doing our own take on these ornaments. Um, so all the links should be down in the description. Again, so if you'll go and just subscribe to, um, go watch their videos and subscribe to their channel, we would all appreciate it. Thanks so much, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.